What is up, my fellow Chibits? Before I begin, I just want to take a few moments to wish you all a very good day. No matter where you live, no matter what time it is, I hope you had a good day, or are having a good day, and will continue to have many good days. Now hopefully it's not as hot where you guys are right now, because I'll tell you right now, I'm sweating my ass off. Like, oh my god. Like, if you hear anything in the background in terms of fan-wise, I have a fan, so if the audio sounds a little bit weird, Please forgive me about that, just fan in the background, it's just, it's too fucking hot. It's, it's, it's too hot, so, I'll die. I would legit die if I didn't have my fan on. So, once again, forgive me if you hear anything in the background, or if the audio sounds a little bit weird, because I'll try to edit out the fan. So, with that being said, let us begin. Was it difficult for your parents to accept your YouTube career? Yes and no. My dad, overall, he... He was kind of against it, or kind of like, huh, when I first told him about it. But then over time, he eventually just accepted it, and he was like, you know what, just do what you want to do. So, at first, yeah, but then it, it changed, and his opinion changed overall on it. So, it's not difficult anymore. So, you like buttholes, right? We're, we're going here, aren't we? We're, we're, we're going here today. Okay. So, with the wise words of Gintoki from Gintama, you cannot truly love someone unless you love them for everything about them. That includes their buttholes. How hairy is your body? We're getting some really, really weird questions today, aren't we? So, my body, is it hairy? Well, not really, no. I, I, it's not really that hairy. I think the most hair I get is probably my head of hair. It just turns into, like, an afro, so... Yeah, I don't really have a hairy body. I don't even have a hairy chest or anything like that. I guess my legs are kind of hairy, but that, that's about it. Do your parents watch your videos? No, they do not. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being berserk, how would you rate Tokyo Ghoul and Tokyo Ghoul Re? So 10's masterpiece. That's what you're basically saying. I would say TG, like the entirety of TG, I would rate around like an 8.5. Maybe a 9. 8.5 or 9, but it's definitely not a 10 level like berserk. Because berserk... It's just too damn good. So, I don't think Tokyo Ghoul is that good, but I do say TG is at least an 8.59. Somewhere around there. And it could easily change depending on where the story goes in the next chapters of the series. Do you have an all-time favorite anime opening slash closing song, or one that is your favorite currently? Now, I think I've answered the first part of this question a long time ago. I remember saying Umi Neko, that was my favorite opening song. I absolutely love Akikyo. I love that composer just great music very very good music but my current favorite that i've been listening to quite a bit is probably the recreators opening you know the new one that came out i've been listening to the second opening of recreators it's just a very good opening song big fan of it so yeah that, that's my current favorite have you heard of killing stalking it's a manhwa korean manga i have heard about it i've been recommended in the past i've just never gotten around to actually reading it Hi, I love your Tokyo Ghoul and recently My Hero Academia reviews. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Do you like Minecraft? Have a great day, and I hope it's in perfect harmony. I wish the same to you and all of you Chibits out there. Hopefully you are all having a very great day, a perfect harmony of a day. Um, do I like Minecraft? Yes, I don't play it a lot anymore. I used to play it a long time ago when it was a really big thing, but I don't play it much nowadays. But yes, I do like Minecraft. How do you do? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Are you going to watch Castlevania? Oh yeah, definitely. I, I have gotten so many recommendations since it came out like earlier this past week. Like, holy shit, guys. Like, you really want me to watch that? I'll, I'm going to let you guys in on a secret, okay? I never played Castlevania. I have never played Castlevania. So I don't know the major story of the series. I know it's about vampires and stuff, but... I, I don't know much about Castlevania, but I've been told that the anime is very good. It's four episodes or whatever, so I'm going to check it out. I'm definitely going to check it out. It's just like, like, damn, it's been recommended a lot. It must be some high-quality stuff for you guys to continuously recommend it. Who do you like more, Zoro or Sanji? I would say Zoro. I do like Sanji, don't get me wrong. Sanji's a very good character. He's went through so much development in the latest arc, but I don't know. I just love Zoro's style. I've always liked Zoro as a character, so I would side more with him. What anime girl has the best looking feet? I'll have a picture on the screen. I'm not going to reveal what this is because this is going to be a little Easter egg for all of you Chibits that are aware of this series. What is it about the Berserk manga and its artwork that you find so fascinating? Hmm, that's a very good question. I would have to say what I find so fascinating about the artwork is probably the backgrounds and the character details. Like, Kentaro really goes really in to his characters. When he designs characters and he 
shades them to just making the way their body is shaped or their armor and all that. He really goes down to every single little detail of the character, like the Berserk's entire armor, the way he dons his armor, the way he carries himself. I don't know, just the little details of art's what really makes me fascinated about the series and why I love the artwork so much is because Kentaro goes so in and goes that extra mile to add a little bit more depth to these characters. Do you play mobile games? And what kind of games do you play? No, I do not. I don't own a nice high-tech phone, as I've said a long time ago when someone asked me what type of phone I have. I just have a little flip phone, so no, I don't play mobile games. If you'd be one of the odd jobs, how would you meet again? I would probably offer the man some money. Now, I'd probably get in pretty big with his uh, his group if I was to just offer the man some money. Haven't you noticed that we'll get Game of Thrones, TG, Hunter x Hunter in the same week? Holy shit, you are right. Holy fuck, we're gonna have Game of Thrones under- <laughs> Yo, that's gonna be fucking fire! I am super fucking hyped for that now. Holy shit, only if Berserk was here. Only if Berserk was coming out too, but oh my god, Game of Thrones, TG and Hunter, Hunter! Some quality stuff's coming out very soon. If you could wipe your memory and get to go into a series completely fresh and get to experience it again, which series would it be? This is an easy question. I would say One Piece. I love the journey of One Piece, so I would probably say wipe my memory of One Piece before I can watch it again. I love that anime. Do you plan to read the latest My Hero Academia Legals chapter? Yes, I do. I have heard some things about the latest chapter. I haven't been completely spoiled, but I have heard some things that I'm very interested in catching up because of what I have heard. Who would you choose? Toka or Mikasa? Now, in terms of character development all that, I prefer Toka, but I do like Mikasa and, and her personality, some of the things when it comes to how her personality is, but I do like Toka, so, hmm. I would probably start with Toka. Do you plan on going on a holiday anytime soon? P.S. I couldn't speed up the other gift that I made, but I made this one instead. It's a very good gift. I got to see it when I took the picture on that. It's a very, very good gift, so thank you very much for that. But, um, will I take a holiday anytime soon? Most likely not, really. The longest time I'll ever be off is probably a day or two, really, because that's when I just have no videos to review or whatever, or like anime to review. So, normally just a day or two break is all I need, and I'm fine. So, yeah, I probably won't be taking like a week or so off. That, that probably won't happen anytime soon. What would you do if your news got leaked to the internet? Okay, so my first question would be, how the hell did my news get leaked to the internet? And number two, why would you even want to, you know see my nudes. I mean, are people that interested. How are you enjoying the summer 2017 anime so far? So far, the season has been pretty good. There's some good things here and there. There's some bad things here and there. It's like a typical anime season. I mean, there's some high quality stuff. There's some guilty pleasures in this season, and there's a lot of potential for some excellent series to become some hallmarkers for this year, depending on how the season goes. So overall, summer 2017, has been very, very enjoyable. In some ways, I think it's even better than the last summer that we had, you know, anime. I, I'd say in some cases, it's better. Favorite hentai. When's what Chibi will watch for spring 2018? There's a special place in hell for you for even asking me this question. Would you go to a gambling school in real life that's similar to Kakiguri? You might find a real Jibami-san. It's, it's similar, it's the exact with the system and all that? I don't really know. I mean, I don't have the money to be in the, that type of school. I want to be honest. I don't have that type of money, but let, let's just, let's go on a hypothetical like I had a moderate amount of money. I could be in that school. Would I want to go there? Maybe, maybe, depending on, uh, yeah, depending, it, it, it really depends, honestly, but maybe, uh, I, I'm on the fence about that one. Do you watch BoJack Horseman? If not, it's on Netflix, and it's honestly one of the best anime comedy dramas to come out in a while, in my opinion. I have seen the first two episodes of BoJack Horseman. I haven't seen past that. It was pretty funny when I did watch it, but recently, speaking of comedies on Netflix, I did watch F is for Family. Now, that's a good show. I loved F is for Family. Had a good laugh from that one. But um, I, I will eventually get back around to BoJack Horseman. I've just been watching other things on the side. I also need to watch Castlevania, too. How do you like Vento Audio compared to the rest of JoJo so far? Now, the, what I just said, I probably butchered the name, so forgive me, don't kill me. Any specific favorite JoJo characters? Mm, not at this moment, no. I'm not too far into Part 5, so I don't really say I have a current favorite. Have a great day, Chibi. You have a great day as well. But how am I liking compared to the rest of JoJo? Mm, 
Very violent. It's it's very violent, I have to say. It's a very violent part compared to the previous JoJo parts. Like, I mean, there's some, been some violence in here and there of JoJo, but part five is pretty fucking violent. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. It's, it's, yeah, it's pretty violent, so... It's definitely different. It definitely has a different tone to it. Have you seen the TG Reek Volume 12 cover? I have seen it, but it's nice to see it again. It's so fucking cute. Little Psycho just go over here. It's so cute. Are you friends with Double Four Anime? I haven't really talked with the man ever, so I guess... No, I'm not really friends with him. When was the last time you went to a barber? Oh, I see. We have a modern day jokester right now asking me a question. I I, I see where you're going with that. I, I, I see you, you, you dissing, you dissing the do. I, I, I see. You, you talking shit about my hair? You, you, you talking shit? You, you talking shit? But seriously though, the last time I went to a barber, about a month ago? It's around there. It's been, it's been a while. About a month, two months. It's around there. What is your go-to guilty pleasure game? Like, we're talking about vision levels? Oh, Sona. Uh, definitely Sona. Can I get a, a boneless pizza? What the fuck is this mean? Seriously, what is this? W what does that mean? What does boneless pizza mean? I feel like this is some form of sexual in the window or something, but seriously, what does that mean? I... I don't know. I, I don't know what you're asking me, so I'm going to probably say no for right now. If the Joker and Hisoka met face to face, who would win? By the way, Hisoka was inspired from Joker. I honestly believe they wouldn't fight. I actually believe they would probably become best friends. I mean, because of Joker's personality and Hisoka, I feel like the Joker and Hisoka become great friends and they would just do whatever they want to do to, to fuck up the world, so... I would say they'd be friends, but if they had to fight, obviously Hisako would win because the man has Nin, so he would just win automatically because of that. Ruby X Chibi, say you love me. Love is a very strong word, to be honest. Would you rather have sex with a 50-foot woman while Norman, I I'm assuming you meant normal, N uh, normal size, or with a normal size girl while three inches tall? Okay, so I know why you're asking this one's kind of some of my fetish. Uh, I would go with the second option, probably. Normal girl and all that, three inches tall, I'd probably go with that, if that... It was a legit possibility. And so with that, I guess I'm going to end this week's Cheebit questions. A little bit of a bizarre one, I gotta say. But, I mean, gotta have your weekly dose of cringe, I guess. I guess I am the cringe king in a certain way. But, uh, you all have a wonderful day or nights wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.